Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix an error occurred while starting Roblox. Uh, it's quite easy to fix, so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first of all, open up your browser, and if you're using Chrome, uh, you just need to press these three little dots here, and then go to Settings. And once you're here, go to Version Security, Cookies and uh, Other Side Data, and then you need to scroll down until you see, um, uh, as you can see here, uh, where it is, I see all site date and permissions. And once you're here, then you just need to here uh, write Roblox and delete all the cookies from here. And then just minimize this window. And on your desktop, you just need to press Windows and R key and then uh, go to percentage sign, local app data percentage sign. Um, and here you need to look for temp folder Press on that and then you need to look for Roblox folder and delete this folder. Don't worry, it's just cache files, it won't affect your game. And after you do that, then the next thing that you can do here, uh, you need to locate your Roblox player um, on desktop or on search and then uh, right click on it, go to properties, compatibility and make sure you select these two options, the table full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator as well, press apply, OK and then restart your computer and, and look if the problem persists or not. And if the problem persists, then uh, another thing that you can do here on search, just write CMD and then just press run as administrator and here you need to enter a few codes here. Uh, first one is uh, IP config slash flush DNS and then another one is Nash uh, Winsock reset and another one is Nash int IP reset right and after you've done this then you can close it out restart your computer and you need to look if the problem persists or not and if the problem persists uh, the next thing that you can do here the last solution is to change your dns server addresses so on the bottom right corner you should see your network icon here so right click on it go to open network and internet settings and here you need to go to change adapter options here and then on your network just right click on it go to properties and on this window, you need to go to Internet Protocol version 4. And then you need to uh, select use the following DNS server addresses here. You need to select this one. And then on preferred DNS server, just, you just need to write 8.8.8.8. .8 and on alternate DNS server, you need to write 8.8.4.4. Press OK, OK. And then restart your computer and see if the problem persists or not. But it should be fixed. Right, so that's pretty much it and if I help you out please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.